Uh, good evening, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop. Uh, this is um, uh, my number six, uh, what's in the box. And we are actually in the annex to the side of the workshop. Uh, has, this, is the, uh, this is the opening through to the workshop. And this is where I keep my stores and uh, also the welding machine. So over here we have um, we have this, the smaller of the welding machines and uh, it is um, um, it, it does TIG stick and uh, also can cut and below it I'll just put it there for the moment um, is my my mini oxyacetylene um, torch and, um, and bottles with a quite a handy little thing on, on wheels um, and beside the, the the small welder is the big pulse welder um, this one's a 350 amp and this is the one we use for the MIG um, and uh, we've got a bottle of uh, uh, Argo Shield as they call it which is um, it's a large tea bottle uh, of um, Argon uh, mixed with CO2 and there's a baby bottle behind the uh, TIG welder of, um, uh, of, of pure argon. Then over to the side beside the big welder, uh, we can't see it too well here. Well, it'll be that's uh, that'll be another day um, that we'll concentrate on the <coughs> excuse me. We'll concentrate on the EDM, the uh, spark eroder. Um, over here. Be Beside those items on the wall, there's lots of rigging gear. Um, this is my big two inch or 50 mil geared head um, drill, which is also has tapping functions to it. <coughs> um, it doesn't get a lot of work these days because uh, most of the work I'm doing is lighter than what I was doing uh, previously. Um, and as we swing around against the wall, um, there's, a, there's a typical drop saw um, a bench grinder that I don't use that much, my electric cables, uh, extension leads, and so forth. We'll zoom out a bit, that's about as far out as it's going to go. Um, and then the rest of the way throughout this little building um, is shelving. And on this shelving, we have, um, uh, we have all our lubes and, and so forth on the top, and then there's paints. Um, and down down here we've got um, stainless steel stock, copper, brass um, on this side and uh, further back behind that the little bandsaw um, we can't really see it here at the moment that'll be that'll be subject for another another day lots of odds and ends and cables and so forth up the top there and the second doorway which I open up for a breeze through when we're welding <clears throat> and down on the back left hand side is a whole set of drawers and those drawers hold mainly repeat items for uh, or jigs and so forth for clients and uh, beside that there's a cupboard with some of my uh, more accurate <coughs> electrical tools and, and pullers and so forth. Um, on the right hand side uh, also we can't see it here further across as a there's about 50 drawers with all sorts of clamps and fittings and bolts and nuts and so forth. Um, on this shelving here we have uh, natural nylon, HDPE, uh, stocks of heli helicoils and recoils, uh, down below some hollow bar and uh, aluminium stock on the, on the side. Then here we have um, on the top shelf is tool steel, um, ground flat and regular uh, regular regular steel uh, squares and rounds down below more squares and rounds and uh, down the bottom right down the bottom we have lots of hollow bar different types of hollow bar and swinging around from there uh, it's a bit darkish in here I think we've got more hollow bar down below um, up on the uh, up on the shelves here we have all our um, our different things with kerosene and uh, uh, floor check 
all sorts of um, cutting fluids, cleaning, uh, freezers, electrical contactors, so forth. Um, we'll, we'll go back out a bit. There's another shelf below it with also, uh, um, we have there <coughs> all the different Loctites uh, from PTF, PTFE types to bolt threads um, and to uh, heat uh, high, high resistance gas gasketing and so forth. And then down below the camera here um, is more stock, most of this is three foot or, um, or one meter lengths. And that's all colour coded because I have to have traceability on a lot of the jobs I do. So it's all colour coded so I know exactly what steels they are. And also have a list um, of these steels that were supplied to me. So I know if I need to put uh, paperwork together, we, we have it. And if I don't have it in stock, then I order it in uh, to suit. So we've got a mixture here of uh, stainless steels, cylinder rods, um, 1010, 1020, 1030s, uh, 4140, uh, 1040. Um, we've also got some uh, 1214 free cutting and some EN36 bar as well. And then right down the bottom on the floor um, is more of the heavier stock. And why keep it on the shelf when you're likely to fall over and we'll keep it down on the bottom there um, and so there you have it we have what's in the box Bruce's what's in the box today uh, of my little annex beside the workshop very handy and uh, they're very narrow but as uh, long as I keep it clean and organized it's um, I can put my hand on things very quickly um, I hope the top here I've got some aluminium stock as well and right down the back, right beside the um, door, there's all sorts of profiles, uh, heavy channels, angle irons, and uh, round stock up to about 10 inches, about 3 inch, uh, about uh, 300, 350 mil diameter.